Hello and welcome to the Bookmarkers Teacher Development Show. Are you a teacher who hears AI and immediately thinks cheating? That is a valid concern. But today I'm gonna to show you a resource that's gonna help you use AI in a way that's gonna help your readers and writers instead of doing the work for them. The tool is called TextFX. TextFX is a resource put out by Google and is advertised as AI powered tools for rappers, writers, and wordsmiths. As you can see, there are a ton of different tools on this website, and I can think of hundreds of different ways that these tools can help you access higher order thinking for your students. And the first AI power tool we're going to take a look at from TextFX is the simile tool, which creates a simile about anything or concept we put right here. I'm going to put it in high school. Let's see what it comes up with. And the simile it came up with is high school was like a roller coaster with its exhilarating highs and stomach churning lows. Next up, we have the chain tool, which builds a chain of semantically related items or basically just topics that are related to whatever you put right here. I'm putting in lions. And we can see that it generated a long list of related topics, lions, pride, king, throne. But sometimes it takes a different angle and it gives you similar stuff relating to lions from a different point of view, like Savannah, Africa, Safari. And the next tool is really gonna help you with debates and argumentative writing. This is called the point of view tool, which evaluates topics through different points of view. Basically, you can put anything you want right here and it's gonna give you a number of different perspectives about that topic. So I entered zoos and it's given me a wide array of different perspectives about zoos. We have zoos are a great place to take kids out for the day. That is a perspective. Next, zoos are educational and help people learn about animals. But then zoos are prisons for animals. You can probably see the potential here to easily get into a high quality debate about this stuff. And last up, we have the fuse tool, which allows you to find intersections between two things, or in other words, to put two different things in these boxes and find some way that they're in common. So I went with one of the examples that it gave me, give me the intersection between cars and democracy. And what it came up with was both cars and democracy can be seen as systems that require cooperation and coordination from multiple individuals to function effectively. And I'm not gonna read the rest, but if you wanna take a look, there are more here. Take a look at this exit ticket if you're doing this as part of a grad class or a professional development session. Thank you so much for checking out this tip with me. I hope you found it useful. If so, be sure to hit like and subscribe and share with a teacher friend.